we define what a cult is? First, and very importantly, there's deception. You are lied to in a cult, which is, I think, at the crux of what makes something a destructive cult. When people are recruited into cults, they are never told what the true intention is for them to be involved. They are given lots of false promises that the thing that they're hoping to be able to fix in their life will be solved, will be fixed only if they get involved in this group. Or they'll meet the nicest people they've ever met, or they'll have the truest friendships they've ever met, or that this is the only way they're going to have a true relationship with God. All of it will be promised to you. And all of it will be lies. What makes a cult a cult, separate from a healthy organization or a religion or even a healthy relationship, is the fact that you are lied to nearly from the first moment. The other part, though, is that you have a real inequality. The rules in the cult only apply to the followers. They don't apply to the leader. The cult leader can say or do whatever he or she wants and can get away with it. Notice that. That's why in some cults you're going to have a leader who has 44 Rolls Royces when the members will be sleeping on mats on the floor and eating beans and rice. You also will find that whatever goals you had in your life don't matter. What matters is your usefulness to the cult. Your job there is to further the goals of the cult, not your own. And you're very often taught that if you care about furthering your own goals, there's something wrong with you. 